So I'm here with Clarkie today, and we are going to talk about doing the feet, trimming the feet. Um, I already gave him a bath, got him nice and clean, and um, I trimmed his nails. I got his nails really nice and short. So the next thing we're going to do is to work on the feet. So first thing I'm going to do is use my little scissors here and trim out some of the hair from the bottom. Okay. Show them. So I lay the scissors so that they are flat against the pad when I'm cutting. That way I don't cut the pad. Also I cut out away from the pad. Now I am going to get in here a little bit and trim a little bit of this hair out. You can sit. Alright. So if you're just doing a daily pet trim at home to keep things nice and clean and neat, that's really pretty much about all you need to do here. But you want to get it cleaner and keep it short longer if you take I love this little clipper it's an oster it's about 10 bucks you can get it at Walmart I take it inside and trim out the hair from in the pad So then I like to take my curved scissors. Stand up. And get his foot flat and straight. Just kind of go around. Clark, you put your head up. And if I turn them so that they turn out, I can get up in here and get those little bits of hair that like to stick out funny. Take a comb pull the hair up from in between the pads with the fine area of the comb. Then take your thinning scissors, stand. Point down. See, there is a little bit of hair sticking out funny right here. If 
You can also take your slicker brush and brush this hair up nice and pretty on the feet. It sticks up. Take your thinning scissors again, close to the toe. Really nice tight foot. As far as the hair on the back of the foot goes, brush this down. I don't like to take off too much. I will use some straight scissors. And from the back of the pad, angling out. Stop. And then I usually use my thinning scissors on this just to kind of soften the look so it doesn't have such a sharp edge. And bring it over here. Alright, stand up. So this is not a perfect show foot by any means, but this gets the foot looking much better and gives you a good idea. And as you play with it more, it'll help get it looking prettier. Um, Tracy does a fabulous show foot. Usually I do a much better job than this, but I am just trying to quickly go through this right now. But go ahead and show them the pretty much complete foot and then show them where the foot started so the other foot the bad foot in front from the side show the side all right so from one to the other that's how it goes